this is a demonstration on a simple architecture 8-bit PC made in Proteus. The details of the assignment are written in this file. According to my student ID, I was assigned with this instruction to make an 8-bit PC. The details of the instructions are written here. Now to make the 8-bit PC, first we have to make a block diagram. This is the block diagram that I have followed. Uh, they are supposed to have 64 kilobyte of RAM which requires 16 bit address so we need 16 bit data bus here and others are as follows the function of the control pin are written later suppose when CP is enabled the program counter increases by 1 here is the CP and others are written and other functions are written here now after this I have to make micro instructions for this PC and these micro instructions are written in this excel sheet the 16 instructions their phase cycle and execution cycles are written here then we have to go for circuit level diagram this is the uh, circuit made in Proteus designed in Proteus this is the control panel it consists of the, all the displays input output systems etc now let's start simulating it after starting simulation first we have to reset the PC to reset the PC what we have to do is make the reset button 1 then give a single step clock click on single step clock this resets the PC now it returns to 0 Now I have to load program to my RAM. Now loading program to RAM, there is two OS. The details instructions written in this file, SAP manual. Here, there is first auto load. In auto load, the program is first burnt in a ROM. Then from ROM, it is transferred to RAM. For this purpose, I have written a code. main uh, placed in this folder and it's code.txt this consists of all my 16 instructions now to make the instructions to machine linguist i have to make an assembler this is my assembler when i run this assembler it converts that text asm file to bin file then this bin file is inserted in the program room now when we start simulation we burn the ram from this program room in case of auto load so let's start it uh, besides this the file for micro instructions are placed here a here address room control room 1 control room 2 control room 3 control 4 the respective files bin files are placed here after this we can start simulation and at the beginning of simulation we have to reset the pc after resetting since we are auto loading just make this button 1 and it will automatically load the program contents from ROM to RAM. So we see our program was not large enough, so it's almost finished to load the program. Otherwise, uh, it will stop at when the RAM, RAM address will reach at FFFF and last address. So, but uh, it requires time, but and we don't need here, so we stop the auto loading. Now before running the program we again wanna needs to reset the PC after resetting now we can start the PC now we can run the PC in two modes either in full run that means the whole program will run at once other otherwise I can run in a single step mode suppose uh, in this time I want to run in full step mode so make this button one here it's written one for full run now I start the PC now my first instruction was 
in A. From hex keypad, the values will be given input to the register A. And now my program is paused here to get uh, the input. Suppose I gave the input 67. Here 67 is here and it has been already loaded to register A. Now to give finishing the input, I give a click on input ready and it has completed already the whole program and it has halted. This is my opcode for halt. Zero. Sorry, this is the opcode for halt zero one. Now this is one process. Now in this time we want to manually load the PC. Manually loading means the way we load MDA boards in laboratory by typing in keypad. Uh, for this purpose I have written a small code. The memory map of the RAM should be like this for this code according to my instructions. And in this case again we reset the PC. Now we want to manual load. In case of manual load, the auto load should be 0, manual load should be 1. Now I just copy this memory map to my RAM. In 000 address, the content should be 0D. So first we are giving input the address 0000. Here is the 0000 and as since its address I make it 1 and 000 it is the RAM address now we make it 0 since we want to load the data at this address the data at this address should be 0D so I type 0D and it's already copied here now we want to go to next address so we make this one now the address should be zero 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 one in this content in this address the content should be 75 75 now we again make this zero and type 75 in ram address one the data is now 75 then the letters are just as for uh, the similar in RAM address 2 there should be 00 so I again make this 1 and 0002 and the RAM address should be 00 the RAM, uh, RAM content should be 00 next the RAM address is 0003 the data in this address should be 0B so I type down 0 B then again in address 0004 the data should be 01 is the output for halt 01 now I have give, given the inputs finished so I can now make this loading 0 now before starting the program I have to reset the PC ok now in this time uh, we can try for single stepping to make single stepping this uh, button should be 0 now we start the PC since it's single step mode we have to supply external clock pulse my first instruction was move B byte the byte 75 should be moved to the register B so let's start giving clock input this is my single step clock I will give this I will click this um, uh, now after some clock cycles the 75 is now register B now in my next instruction it was input A now to get input A we go on clicking now it has paused for taking input suppose we give input 23 now we again give a clock pulse the register A is loaded with now 23 now we 
give a click into input ready so we, it means taking input is finished now again we go on clicking my next instruction was out b the register value the values of register b will be given in the output display this is my output display a hex display 75 should be go to should go to here now i keep clock pulse and it's here now my next instruction was halt the program will simply halt so after fetching the instruction it has already halted and clock pass will do nothing uh, this is all about the simple architecture 8 bit pc now i reset this and these are the all characteristics of this pc that's all